We got a new guy here uh, from Discord, I believe. He sounds like an omnivore. Is that what it's short for, omnivore? No, it's short for omnizoa, but that joke gets made a lot. Yeah, I'm vegan. How long you been vegan for? Uh... Maybe close to 10 years now. Oh, shit, 10 years. Eh? And did all your hair fall out and the skin on your ball sack uh, peel off in one big chunk? Oh, yeah, I'm hooked up to a drip as we speak. Nice. Uh, symbiogenesis, I would say, is more important than sentience. And I would say that uh, sentience has yet to be proven to be a beneficial evolutionary byproduct until we don't destroy the planet. Symbiogenesis is the important part. That's basically where uh, like all these single-celled organisms come together to like live symbiotically with each other and that's like basically where multi-celled organisms came from that may be where multi-celled organisms came from but you don't derive values from that value comes through sentience and that's why we start Which... the morality debate at sentience what i'm saying is that our sentience allows us to have that individualistic nature to try to choose our own survival over the group and i'm not sure if that's necessarily valuable that's not what sentience is we're not we're not talking about individuality we're talking about sentience sentience can be so get individual about... Reality, but it can also be get collectivism as well. Let me make the same argument. Uh, we all came from busting nuts. So busting nuts is the most valuable <laughs> thing, right? Look, we're busting like, nuts. Uh, reproduction as well. Yes, Clearly, we have to rethink the value of busting and... nuts. What I'm saying is that anthropocentrism only hinders us. I, I just don't follow this at all because I mean, you're, you're making analogies to squirrels like they're different. And yet the commonality between us is that they're sentient. So why are we not complaining about squirrel centrism? Well, squirrels aren't making it out to be about like themselves and their sentience. It and... doesn't fucking matter who anyone's making anything out to be. The, the argument begins... <laughs> I'm just curious. Yeah. No, I'm, curious? I'm just I'm just I mean, pushing no, back can... against you because I think your arguments suck, man. No, yeah, he's no, a what's vegan. Your... Omni's a vegan? Yeah, I'm a vegan. Yeah. Yeah. But I but I love that caught you off guard. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I got I wasn't really trying to argue anything. I was just trying to sound smart by saying <laughs> symbiosis and somehow I got taken into whatever Omni was trying to say. It's like you you might want like, you know, rights for black people, right? Because you're black, but if you're white, you don't really care about black rights in eighteen sixty five. The fuck? <laughs> we got vegan hunter here. I alone, compared to a city vegan, the average city vegan, she goes shops every now and then, she buys the plants and whatnot. I'm more ethical than that one type of person. And why is that? Because I cause less harm to animals. You deliberately cause harm. Yeah, but to less. Yeah, when you go to shops and buy plants, you know crop harvesting is involved, don't you? I don't think you understand what deliberate means. I hunt four times a year. I kill four animals a year only, and that's it. That's all more I eat. Or that's that's animals. more animals than I kill a year. Wow. Here's a question for you. Why do you give a shit about the rabbit and the combine harvester if you're just going to go out and hunt that sort of animal anyway? Because I'm for less killing, less suffering. Less suffering. Okay, so why do you go out of your way to do that? Because I'm ethical. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't you go out of your way to be ethical? Are we going out of our way to yeah. throw rabbits into combine harvesters? Yeah. What you're saying is... Well, you're paying for it. What you're saying I'm not is... buying that. That's not the point of my purchase. What happened when uh, I bought this pineapple? How? What died? Explain to me what died. It's not that anything died. It's that you paid a company to restock the shelf of the pineapple that you just picked up. Therefore, mm -hmm. telling the crop harvesters to have another round on the ground. Pineapple aren't on the ground what are we talking about <laughs> it's picked from a tree how many rabbits no. did you kill for that pineapple logan i don't know i mean I, I thought i was more unethical for going to the grocery store that was my first <laughs> thing so what about okay my second thing here i got well, bananas hold on, so hold on what T died that, for these bananas that all of that gets loaded into a truck and that truck runs over countless rabbits along the way can i just point out that it is not at all in the interest of the farmer to harvest rabbit corpses along with their corn or whatever other fucking things they're trying but to farm that's what happens whether you wanted to or not that's just what happens. okay so there exists a financial disincentive for that to happen so you intentionally cause less harm than yeah. a vegan who causes unintentional harm is that my understanding here it's why are you saying unintentional why plants results in deaths yeah and as i explained earlier it's not the intention of either the person buying the product or the person providing the product for a 
a rabbit to get caught in a combine harvester. You're not, not living there. sustainably. You need this area that's beyond what a single vegan girl from the city would require to sustain her. I don't know. I don't know about any of this. I go out and kill an animal. That's it. I don't know about it. When, when you go to Google whatever it is you wanted to Google, Google biomass pyramid. Why do you want slaughterhouses gone? Because I hurt animals for no reason. <laughs> when, you sh- <laughs> when you shoot a deer, are you hurting the deer? Yeah, but I'm, I need to eat. Yeah, but you can eat plants. The problem is we've never had a long enough living population of just vegans to know that it is 100% healthy for us a vegan hunter i'm fairly sure that your ancestors most people's ancestors all throughout the world do not eat an exclusively meat diet yeah, yeah. No, i'm not saying they do okay well, that, so well, why, why are you making these judgments on vegans for e- eating only plant-based products but you're not extending the same skepticism towards only meat diets uh all the mainstream professional organizations like the academy of nutrition and dietetics american diabetes association american heart association British Dietetic Association, British Nutritional Foundation, Dietitians Association of Australia, Dietitians of Canada, Heart and Stroke Foundation. It goes on and on and on, probably about another 50 things. They all agree that a vegan diet is perfectly sound for health. And a lot of these places even say that a vegan diet is better for health. And I could put the list and it's like basically every major medical organization uh, across the globe all agrees. So to say that it hasn't been proven is 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 cra- is that that's a conspiracy theory well the problem is with that right is that studies throughout history have always been combated with other studies they've always been opposing studies on them studies so the only true way to know if something works is to see it throughout time let's just go with he's unpersuaded on the health (laughs) aspect and even so let's just say for sake of arguments that it is less healthy to be vegan you still don't have the moral position what do you mean isn't veganism kill less things veganism is about reducing exploitation isn't it about reducing harm it's about exploitation no so i use exploitating insects (laughs) well let me ask you do you think we're exploiting insects when we're raising crops that we specifically don't want insects in. Let me put it to you this way. So you go out of your way to hunt four deer, okay? You have successfully exploited four deer. Let's say yeah. in the process of being vegan, I've killed a million insects. I have still exploited zero insects. I don't purposely go out and kill insects. So I step Neither on the Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, since when do we care about purpose? Is that the stance of most vegans? Not less harm, just less exploitation. I'm sure a lot of people will argue the farm point, but I'm arguing exploitation. Yeah, relevant then. I'm talking about the majority of vegans. Most vegans. What most vegans think is less harm. Okay, so you're, you're talking about stupid people. I'm not going to defend the position of stupid people. Are most vegans stupid people you reckon? Most people are stupid people, yes. No, most vegans, from the ethical standpoint of less harm, they're stupid? Vegans are people. I don't understand what you're talking about. I was under the assumption vegans <laughs> Less harm. So you're using thousands of acres of land for three years, like fifteen to twenty thousand acres for three deers every year. You've gone beyond your property. You're just going out there and taking what's out there, and you're trying to compare yourself with somebody who uses a fraction of the land and resources. It's not a fair comparison. I'm not understanding what, you, what you're trying to say. This is the biomass pyramid I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if that will work. All I know is that I'm considering killing maybe six or seven deer a year now. <laughs> right. Recreational hunting is not able to control the population. That is a quote in the same article. Well, then I'm for a uh, mass, ex- mass ex- execution of all D. The best you can do is help the plant companies, the, the plant products, by supporting them. Gosh, going vegan is so hard. You got to buy a whole genocide. Jeez. So if you were to go vegan, vegan hunter, would you then become more immoral, you think? or I'd you become be- more ethical because I'd be growing them out in my backyard. Well, they, well, don't you want to be a more ethical person or no? Yeah, but uh, I'm still not convinced that um, meat is like, I don't know. It's like, I don't I'm not really like, 
you were gonna go for health he, there for a second. Yeah, right, right, right. Let, let's imagine that there is this uh, mechanic in the universe where you can rob the life of another person and add it to your own. You're gonna die soon, or say you're say you suddenly get caught in in a like a car accident, and as you're lying on the ground bleeding out, knowing you're about to die, one of the people standing die. over you, you could steal their life and have no, them be the I'd victim. Die. I die because that's fair. Why would it be unfair to take someone's life at that point? Because because they haven't done nothing wrong to me. Neither did the fucking deer who you're fucking hunting. <laughs> yeah, but I need, I need to eat, though. I need to eat, don't I? Or else I will die. Well, you're on the ground bleeding, so you need to take someone's life or else you're going to die. Yeah, but they're two different examples. You're talking about going out it's, hunting compared is, to being dead or getting off yeah, the cliff. Absurdum, my dude. So. I wouldn't just take a life if I'm at the end of mine. But you would if you're starving. It's just not well, a yeah, car accident. So what, why, why does it make a difference whether you're starving versus you're about to bleed out from a car accident? Because it's unfair for me to kill someone who's done nothing wrong to me for no reason, but I do need to eat, so I have to kill an animal. Do you, have to, uh, <laughs> do you, eat, a human? Do you eat a human? Would I eat a human? Yeah, if you were starving. Would you hunt a vegan? If there was no other option, I would. Wouldn't that be unfair? Have vegans ever done you wrong? Yeah, but I need to eat. I'm not going to die. Okay, so what if I hit you with my car and you're bleeding out in the road? In that case, you wouldn't, you wouldn't take my life? If you hit me with intent, I would. But if you hit me on accident uh, and you come down with a crime of again. In, am I not giving answers that every sane person would? No, you're, you're giving the answers that I'm expecting you to make, which is why it's funny. How long as a recreational hunter, which you are, do you need that to be? That that you'll be proven, that, that will be proof for you? The proof would come after I'm dead because there's... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you're not interested. You have no intention of trying experientially learning or looking at the research. Really don't care do you i have to stress that his standard of evidence is functionally you, you, you can't you can't ever find it he said he'd be dead before there no, was ever evidence for it do you, you understand will, you will be able to you will you be able to find it because at the moment there's a lot of people going vegan and they will live to whatever age they live to and reproduce and their kids will most likely be vegan your standard of evidence for your yourself to be persuaded is far beyond what can be shown so do yeah. you understand what the concept of unfalsified Falsifiability is you functionally set so up such as so what in in the in the context of a court case or a criminal court case you'll almost never have absolute proof in fact you never you have absolute proof what you have you can't is change what's called my mind a, the study doesn't exist yet what and that's you it. have is what is called a preponderance of evidence that means there's well, an i don't know what any of this stuff means all i know I is that you can't prove me wrong because it doesn't exist yet <sighs> Everything you've said, I can search on Google and find something that's yeah, saying the opposite. So how do I know who to believe? I can find Google at search results for flat Earth and Illuminati conspiracies too. But this is the whole point. Yeah. Of, this is the whole point of science. We have the strongest so evidence what? in place. So everything that it refutes your fucking point, man. <laughs> how do I know who's true and who's not true because and what? You and should what? be thinking about it. You should have a standard of evidence I'm in reasoning not a about. Smart, I'm not a smart person. Well, I don't know. You should I don't work know. on that cool. then. We're giving you evidence, we're giving you studies, and then your counter argument is someone's opinion on YouTube. It's not someone's opinion, they're doctors' opinions and nutritionists' opinions. There's always someone else to say your point is wrong. Okay, but just because that they say your point is wrong, does that necessarily yeah. mean that the point is wrong? You I can find I just, I just the overwhelming no, majority dude, dude, the overwhelming majority of the population of planet Earth is against veganism. Does that mean veganism is wrong? No. Okay, so accepting that, just because somebody disagrees with a thing doesn't mean that there's any substance to that disagreement. I don't know a lot about my car, for example. So I go to a professional, a mechanic, to, to help me with that. And what we're- And if a mechanic says your car's broken and then a different says it's not broken, what then? This is where I want to come in. So I'm not coming into this conversation throwing links to studies in here. I'm not claiming at all to even have any sort of fucking knowledge on the topic of health 
or biology or any of that stuff. You don't need to have gone to school. You don't even need to be an, a particularly or exceptionally intelligent person. However, when it comes to assessing claims that other people are making, you have to be able to understand and appreciate when the claims are consistent with other knowledge that you already have with itself, especially with itself. With I'm not smart enough to know what's what's what. I don't know what's what, what this means and what so that means. So good. So good. Well, so I don't, don't take things. shit on fucking faith. Don't take anyone's claims on faith. Be skeptical so of I everybody. Take you, you guys don't, have been telling no, me don't this is right. Take how can what we, we say on yours, faith. faith. Don't take what we say on faith. Fact check. Us. Why are you so hard then? Vegan He's Hunter, hard. I think there's a fundamental problem with you coming into the stream and swinging judgments left and right. And and no no harm or foul. Everyone judges, but you're making judgments when you seem to fundamentally misunderstand how to make good judgments cuz you're telling me you don't even know how to check against whether someone's being consistent or not. No, I I'm just I'm just a simple guy. I don't know. I don't know much about anything. I just I hunt and that's it. I I can't comprehend what you're trying to say. I'm, I'm, saying I'm sorry. Very I'm... simple. I'm just talking about identity, okay? I'm saying if I say vegan hunter is vegan hunter and is not vegan hunter. Is that a contradiction? See, I don't know. You can't speak no, just to me try, like that. I don't know. I don't Take understand breath. what this buddy, means. Buddy, 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 buddy. I think the laws of thought might be a bit much for this discussion. I'm really just trying to see if he understands this like more basic stuff so we're actually having a productive conversation. I think we could explain this more simply too. Look, if vegan hunter, if you ask me, if you ask me if I like bananas and I say yes, yeah. and then you ask me the exact same question again and I say no, then you would recognize that there's a contradiction in there because I said both yes and no to the same question. Yeah, right. It literally could be as simple as I'm not racist but kick out the blackies <laughs> something yeah. like that hey, if i'm listening to two people talk how do i determine which one's in the right and which one's in the wrong well like i was saying you should try to identify what seems to be the most consistent if you're not sure which statements are facts try to well, m most likely true yeah yeah try to that's what he said try to narrow down what seems most likely to be true not necessarily true not absolutely <laughs> true not irrefutably true not true in all cases not not just some, what's most likely to be true. So I've said this multiple times. I'm not in favor of veganism. I'm not in favor of meat eating only. I'm not in favor of anything. Well, actually, I you're contradicting yourself by it. saying that. Earlier, you said you're in favor of everybody going vegan. Yeah. So you just contradicted yourself. Th this is how I can be vetting the information you're providing me on whether it's true or not. Chris mentioned something, can't somebody be consistently wrong? That's true too. But also referring back to what Nick was saying is that even if you're vetting someone's sources, make sure that they're even talking about the same circumstances. The current conversation is we're just talking about like how to critically analyze what someone's saying. Because as you said, you you have difficulty determining whether someone's right at the end of the day. So here's, again, another thought experiment say someone proposes that vegans have a higher rate of cancer and they present their evidence for this and it's a study and you look at the study and oh look at that all of the vegans they sampled are chronic smokers do you think that confounds their findings a little bit yeah yeah, so that's part of a way you can, you know, consider a little bit more thoroughly a claim someone's actually making. You gotta ask those sorts of questions because a lot of the sources that you'll look at will be either inconsistent, they'll be talking about different circumstances, or they'll entirely omit relevant information. So you I don't ever look at one side of things. I always look at two sides of everything. Okay, but just because two people might be disagreeing doesn't necessarily mean that's the only layer that you should be assessing the conversation. But it doesn't even mean that the vegan is right i i hate to interrupt but can we get david wishingrad into the conversation he's name dropping left and right calls himself an exorcist says i'm pure evil and a fraud <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Sorry, Hello, Jake, people. Just... Hey, so Hello. wait, wait. So, so just to. All right. Just to... First of all, you told the lie. Wait, 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 David. Well, David, David I said you were wait, 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 David, oh, David, David, David. You're, oh, you're kind of steamrolling the conversation. We already know that milk is bad for us, right? Is that true or not? Is that still you guys' position that milk is bad for human beings to consume? When are you talking say milk, about cow milk, man? Yeah. Are we talking about cow's milk? Or are we? T what are? We, which one are we talking about? Because well, you're being very vague. Milk, mothers, mothers, humans, mothers, milk. Now, could you consume? 
mother's milk being your age, Logan, would that be okay? I mean, would it hurt you <laughs> to have ill effect? Would that end up giving you a heart attack or any problems or just well, regular no, human just mother's milk? Like you're What's just that? making me guess. I have no idea. Can okay. I please clarify something? There is no okay, vegan can... position on health. The health issues yeah, are it, secondary. On, let's not, let's not. Dairy's bad, right? Dairy's basically white Satan, according <laughs> to veganism. I mean, come on. I'm not making this up. For example. ethical I, reasons. If, if you want to talk no, about health, no, if you want, nutritional no, reasons. If you want to talk about nutritional reasons, then you're not talking about veganism anymore. You can talk about vegans who have those health concerns, but you're not talking about veganism itself. Yeah, so what's the know. what's the health downside to drinking milk? Is, is I don't fucking question. know. Logan doesn't fucking know. Does anyone here fucking know? Oh, okay, like can I, we move what, on and yeah, talk to David answer. now? I am. That's my name, David Wishigrad. I actually have okay. talked with more people than anybody on this planet about this cause. Wait, um, how do you I know have that? A, I Even have. A, a, I have. You started on, off you, with I, an you can, We can get in all the verification stuff later. So after a lot of trials and tribulations and a lot of stupid mistakes and not being any better than anyone else, I come to find out that life is most important in life is the most important truth in life, and in fact, it's actually provable. Anyone attempting to use life to disprove this truth is a contradiction. I am fine listening to you ramble incoherently as you've done, but I'm no. You're I, the one I, that's I, rambling like, incoherently. Like, oh my like god! You have uh, it wrong, and now your ended. ego is having a crap fit over it because someone that's been at this longer, who has far more experience than you, who's talked with far more people, who understands where it is that we're messing up, that we have the actual cure for all needless and preventable suffering and death on the face of this earth and but you're, you're all throwing it else. away because you don't agree to that truth okay so here's how it's gonna go it's david you talk you say your points make them concise though don't ramble on for four goddamn minutes till people have to interrupt you say something in under a minute and then nick you say something or omni or whoever take turns i'm saying life is most important in life that those words themselves are the actual most important truth in life and that anything that disagrees with those words has to absolutely be a lie that there is no exceptions to this and that this truth is eternally true okay you said you're very familiar with these vegan arguments name three arguments that vegans make uh against cardis go for it no <laughs> Great start. I, I would not I if you do not that agree either. that you're David, asking questions David, instead David, of answering David, mine. David, David, you are being evasive. No, I am I, doing David, something sh to, to you're being you're obnoxious. You're, too. Too. I'm lying. you're being really I have obnoxious. not made a positive claim. Different. And Listen. we please Listen. drop the authority debate. I don't give a shit what he thinks his credentials are. Are you suggesting life can contain life? Are you saying that the most important value to any given life is the perpetuation of that life? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that all life is most important in life to itself and to other life. So not only is somebody takes your life they're most important to you but that microbe that's under a rock on the other side of the earth it's also most important to you but you might not see why but because that truth those words says that it is it actually is we all require life that life itself is the first self-evident truth okay but what what is self-evident about life okay i mean we, I, we, that's by us doesn't acknowledging make sense life okay, okay that's the I acknowledge first it. truth that's the first truth that we acknowledge that we're alive okay i'm okay? alive Okay, all right. That's good. Now, is there any other truth that you can point to without that life? No. So, yes, I'm alive, and anything I might do while I'm alive is ultimately downstream of me being alive, but That's it's also downstream of other things. For instance, I can't even value life unless I'm sentient. Unless you have life. Well, I can only have sentience if I have you life, true. You, you, there you go. But See, I mean, life even important again. You, well, even before life, I could go even further that. We could just talk about the statement of matter in the universe. Existence no, you can't, because, Why not? because you're using life to do it. You well, I mean, Using to existence do, to do it. So existence using, is most you, important in existence. It, that's a total contradiction. Why, if you're using life to argue that life is not most important in any situation, I'm that's using a, a contradiction. I'm using a computer to tell you my computer is not the most important thing to me. Is that a but, contradiction? But you can use a computer all you want, but any computer that's spewing anything, even bots, had to have life at some point to make them. Once this question has been put to you, Omni, you're forced to choose. Okay. And at that point, okay, it's going to be the one choice 
choice, the one decision that's going to affect you more than any other choice you ever make in your entire life. I guarantee it. Okay, why? Absolutely, no doubt about it. Okay, <laughs> this is this is not a game with me. Uh, yeah, apparently, I don't believe in any self-evident truths. I don't think truth can be self-evident. Okay, well then you really shouldn't be talking about life because life is the first self-evident truth. You just told that other guy that he should evaluate truth, but now here you say that there is no established truth. That's I didn't say that at all. Wait, did I did that? not say that at all. I'm very deeply affiliated with these people. What are you I talking understand about? that. So 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 am I. All right. All right. Oh, you, okay. You know, Can you name so, three leaders let's, within those? Please movies? don't do that again. <laughs> no, because yeah. I, I can. Let, let the vegan hunter guy, what he was hearing was that he was his action. He was begging to get told the truth of who he was and why, but nobody that? heard. So and, and, and all you had to do was just tell him that. He probably would have flipped right then and there to tell it to you, honestly. Okay. I, I don't even understand what you're saying. I really don't. <laughs> it's a logical sentence. Okay. It's been professionally vetted. Okay. It's a hundred percent proved. Okay. With, with real proofs. Okay. It's legit. Okay. I got a book of names over here, man. I don't really have arguments with people anymore. Generally what happens is, is people generally say that I'm out of my mind or I don't know what I'm talking about at first. Yeah, then I they get listening that. to me and they get talking with me and then they end up saying, dude, you're the smartest person I've ever met in my life. I can't <laughs> believe it. Thank you so much. The reality is, is that the majority of the people that are talking about veganism with the larger channels don't agree to this truth and have intentionally chosen to reach Reject, ignore and hide it from others i don't even okay I, first of all i don't even understand your truth second of all i don't sure think, you do you're talking i don't think anybody has even <laughs> now you're telling even, lies you do understand I, and no, i know you do and, i'm telling you like it is you're all going to go through through more pain than death itself than getting tortured to death a few dozen times until you finally yield or you'll die or all the life of the earth is going to get lost <laughs> you already this lost is me. what is going to happen wait what's before lying? before what was innocent it is is no longer innocent now. What are we talking You have about? been told your innocence is lost. None of you can ever again in your lives say that you were not told better. <laughs> yes. Life is more important. So Life is most important in life. Okay, but there okay. can be equal truths to that truth. What? That's fine. You can't do it. You can't, you can't operate anything without life. Okay. Life well, isn't okay, enough, well, though. Okay, you can't me, operate yourself you. without life, so you're certainly not going to be telling us about anything I can't tell you about anything without language. Life. Like, I need language to convey this to you. No, you... You, you, you just... Uh, I, I don't even know what, that, what you just said there. That doesn't even make sense. It does. <laughs> That's because, what we're saying to you. No, what, what, what you're all saying is, is that you don't want to say that you agree that life is most important in life. No, I'm it's saying not. your statement is functionally nonsensical. It's impractical. Okay, all right. And, your and you have, and you have a degree in, in logic on it. I don't know. I, I don't give you a have shit. a degree and I don't in logic you either. On. Do oh you have God. a degree in logic? No, you do not. If you're saying all, let me just, oh, he left. He's saying all life is equal. <laughs> so he's saying basically mowing your lawn is a friggin' holocaust. Like, that's insane. Oh, he's, what? He's an exorcist? Yeah, he's, like I said, he said he was an exorcist and never even got into that. He got Al Gore to go vegan? He made, it, he made Al Gore go vegan. Yeah, I'm going to ask Al Gore. Any uh, last thoughts from anybody? Fendus, do you want to propose uh, your final argument here about why you're not going to go vegan tonight? Uh, okay, taste is one thing. Uh, also, I'm not convinced about the morals. Okay, here's one thing. Like, I mean, if the squirrel were able to kill me, he wouldn't uh, hesitate. So why should I respect the squirrel? Do, do, do squirrels eat meat? <laughs> if they did, if they did. Okay, so hypothetical, if there's a carnivorous squirrel, it would it would try to eat you. Yeah. And so why is it, why is this a problem? Yeah, because, because like if it could, it would. So how can I respect that? If like you don't if, have if, to respect it. Well, I mean, I am respecting it by not killing it. Okay, but I would strongly recommend you kill a bear if a bear came and tried to eat you. Similarly, if there's a giant man-eating squirrel trying to eat you, <laughs> I would say the same thing. Right. So like, so giant man-eating squirrels might factory farm humans if given the opportunity. Is that the yeah, argument well, here? <laughs> you wouldn't punch a baby and be like. I'm going to kill this baby because this baby doesn't give a shit about me anyways. It's just a baby. What does it care? Or like a handicapped person like who can't think properly. They don't give a shit about you, but you're just going to go fucking eat them because they you, don't Well, care. yes. Yes, I would eat the handicapped person. Um, The infant, I, um, the infant will grow into an adult who can respect me. So and an adult will grow into a handicapped person. 
<laughs> you have no moral problem with eating a handicapped person? Is that what you're saying? Or are you joking? Uh, correct. I, uh, correct. I do believe that. Yes. You do believe that it's okay to eat handicapped people? <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm not buying that for a second. <laughs> You're going to just chop a leg off and throw it in the oven? or If it tastes very good, yes. So what's the, the whole argument is, uh, like, I guess, sentience, intelligence? No, no the, the argument is taste, okay. therefore fuck you. How handicapped do you have to be in order to be eaten? Handicapped enough that we can't respect each other in the sense that we can agree to not kill each other. Fendus, do you respect me? Yes. Oh, that, okay. Because I don't respect you. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh. No one, one person can eat the other, but yeah. That's no, no, it. no. We, we, we have to. We have to understand that we respect each other. But since I don't respect him, that means Fendus can eat me, but I can't eat him because he respects me. Is that how that works? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it.